YouTube, it's Gary, back again as always. It's Thursday, not Wednesday, but I'm still doing another comic haul because I was able to go to a different uh, comic book store today and pick up some things I wasn't able to pick up yesterday. Um, sorry, my computer just freaked out on me for some reason. Um, so, the new one that I went to today, which I've gone to a couple times, but I wasn't sure how I felt about it. Uh, Victory Comics will be getting all my subscriptions and canceling them from Painted Visions. Uh, nothing personal, Tommy, if you see this, man, but there's just been some things that I don't agree with going on at the store. Some different changes, no back issues anymore. Um, I mean, you know, that kind of ruins a lot of the fun of it, no back issues. I mean, that's what collectors collect, is new stuff that's coming out this week and stuff from the past. And so, I don't agree with that. And, uh, you know, they didn't hook me up with the variants that I asked for. And I don't normally complain about certain things, you know. I don't complain a lot. I'm not a big complainer. But, you know, if you don't put out your, your variants the day you are supposed to, and then, you know, I spend like $100 a week at this store, and, you know, you would think that they would appreciate your business more. But you're just another face to them. So that's cool. Um, so I'm going to go to this new place. I got this yesterday. I showed it. I just wanted to show it again. And that is Justice League number 12, uh, Jim Lee artwork, which is beautiful. If you haven't gone out and get this, I highly suggest you do. It's a pretty big deal. It's a key issue there with uh, Superman and Wonder Woman kissing on the front. So I just wanted to show that again. It's, it's a beautiful cover, beautifully done. And um, this is the big variant that I really wanted this week. And I for, thought for sure I wasn't going to be able to get it because... Painted Visions didn't hook me up, you know, they didn't set it aside for me like I asked them to. And uh, so I went to the other comic book store. I thought for sure they'd be sold out or it'd be like a $20 variant and I wasn't really willing to pay $20 for it. But, Robot Chicken variant of Aquaman number 12. It is a beautiful cover. I love this cover. In robot, uh, robot chicken fashion, there with Aquaman holding up Superman, and um, I actually got it for cover price, so I can't complain. Two ninety nine for that cover? Come on, are you kidding me? Um, I don't have this in a bag on board yet. I just got home a few minutes ago, and uh, I didn't pick it up yesterday, but I saw it again, and I really like the cover. And that is Amazing Spider Man, or Avenging Spider Man. I'm sorry, number eleven. I really love the color, the colors that they chose to do this in. It's just a really awesome cover. So I had to pick that up, and of course, it's part of the uh, 50 Years of Spider-Man. And then on to my back issues. This is one I've been wanting for a while, and I saw it at the right price. And it's in. Um, they have it down as very good, so I can't complain because it's definitely an older, older, older issue. And that is the Amazing Spider-Man number 89. Doc Ock lives. And like I said, it's in very good condition. Not the best condition, but um, the guy there at the shop, in his professional opinion, would rate it very good. I also got The Amazing Spider-Man number 181. And that cover is also fucking awesome. With uh, Doc Ock and uh, Doctor Doom. And Kingpin. Scorpion. It says, uh, The Pain and the Power. And it's number 181, 35 cent cover. And then I got a couple Incredible Hulks. Um, number 186. Another really awesome cover. band in the background you should check them out if you haven't one of the biggest bands in hardcore they're called Terror. Um, I'm not you know I've seen them about at least 25 times um, you know they're one of those bands that when they come through I try to go see them and if I miss them you know I've seen them enough um, once you see Terror, you've seen them but they're awesome live um, Scott Vogel you know the vocalist um, he really supports hardcore like people should be nowadays um, you should check them out. They're really good. They've been around for a minute. Um, and then this is the Incredible Hulk number 235. Fighting 
Machine Man. Stoked on that cover. I actually won number one on Machine Man for like three dollars last not even last week or the week before off of eBay. And um so I can't complain about that. I read that and it was an awesome issue. Uh, I gotta start collecting his stuff. Um I got a couple Thors and a book for Curse of Man's son, but I don't want to show him because I'd rather just send him to him and, uh, you know, have him open them and be surprised. Hopefully he doesn't have them. Um, the Thor is a low 200 number, and the one for your son uh, is an amazing Spider-Man, and it's a low 200 number. So hopefully your son doesn't have it, and hopefully you don't have the one that I'm sending you. So, Yeah. I will have that package sent out tomorrow. I know I told you I was going to send it today, but I wanted to pick you up a couple more things. So, those will be going in there as well. And I am about to get some dinner. Hang low for the rest of the night. Maybe play some Madden, hang out with my girl. Y'all know how it is. In the life of Mongo Stomp Time over here. Anything else to add, baby? No. Oh, I got a thing. I, I got a, a thing that's been a stickler lately, and it's been kind of bothering me. And that is, um, people sending me messages here on eBay or on YouTube. Damn, thinking about eBay. Um, here on YouTube on our community. That money is there in a hole in your pocket, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Um, <laughs> having money and having access to eBay is is a bad idea because it gets blown like that. Imagine how it feels to have a building later. <laughs> um, but like I was saying, uh, people that are messaging me and they're like, hey, I like your your videos. Check out my videos. And I'm like, that's not how it's supposed to be, you know? If you subscribe, I'm going to look at your stuff. And if I like your stuff, I'll subscribe too. You know, that's, that's pretty simple. Don't, don't message me and, you know, tell me you like my stuff just so I'll go look at your stuff. Because that to me that's fake, you know. That's not that's not how it's supposed to work, you know. If you have cool stuff and you you know send me a comment or subscribe to me, I'll check your stuff out. And if I like it, I'll subscribe, you know. And we can become friends here on this community. But I don't know. I'm sure that many of you all in this community have been getting messages like that as well. And it's not even really from people that are collectors of any sort. It's just like random people on YouTube that don't even have videos up. So. Why would I subscribe to someone that doesn't have videos? I can't watch your videos. That's the whole point of subscribing. So they all get thumbs down for that. But, um, alright. This long, this video is long enough. I will be hitting y'all up, chatting with you all weekend, I'm sure. Um, hopefully you like the video, and if you do and you haven't seen my videos before, please subscribe. And as always, if you wouldn't mind commenting and liking my videos, it's always appreciated. I always like having conversations with y'all. And I'm out. Till next time.